So I figured I'd show you my process and the way that I normally do this. Um, these are the types of rocks that I find in my yard. Or sometimes in my creek. So I'll put them in a bucket of iron out. And I dilute it sometimes. This particular one's been sitting outside, so. And it's full of different rocks that have been sitting. That's a nice little one. That one's pretty. big one he's been sitting for a while I need to scrub I need to scrub him it's kind of pretty and so in the end after I've cleaned them and scrubbed them and let them dry, I'll end up with something like that. And it's nice looking red. I don't know if you can tell, but he's a really good red looking rock crystal. This one's more of a yellowish white with some striations in it. This one's really amber. I mean, really nice. Good looking amber. I really like the sound of that one. <laughs> but anyway, it's a, it's a good looking amber one. I, I really think this is a, a keeper. So after I've cleaned it well and scrubbed it good and maybe I've dipped it a few times in the iron out that gets all of the deposits off of it and all the, it takes a lot of the coloration out of it. Um, sometimes you can't get all of the coloration out, but that's okay. I think that makes it unique, but you can really see the lines in this one and how it's um, striated and there's some dark spots in it. And I'll, I'll test this one later with my, with my tester just to see what I get out of it. But a nice big, large piece of quartz with uh you know it's probably probably has some maggot um tendencies in in it and uh, just a beautiful piece so that's how i do that i don't know how you guys do it comment and let me know um there's a lot of different ways to clean these things and yeah iron out might not be the best one but it's the one that i've found is useful for me and uh, you'll probably, it's probably the easiest. There's a nice white, very, very white quartz piece. That's really pretty. Um, and for me, I put these in and, and maybe let them sit for about a week, you know, maybe seven days. And, you know, I, periodically I take them out and I'll scrub them and see how they're shaping up and if they have a lot of discoloration i'll let them sit for quite a while well, that's a really neat looking piece maybe a feldspar kind of what that looks like but anyway that's it nothing major nothing hard just a simple way to clean your rocks that you find in your yards or in your creeks or wherever let me know what you think